Hey guys, what is up? Today I have a pretty neat video with like uh, SSHing and themes and stuff. Now this video is going to show you how to change the look of some icons that you don't really like. Like the city, I, it's alright, but I like this one way more better because as you know like the 1.0 and 1.1.1 versions have the installer look. And that looks really cool in my opinion. So I changed it obviously. Um, I took this from the iClassica iPhone uh, theme from Cydia. Uh, but I'm not wearing out any theme as you see. So no theme at all. Alright. So I'm um, going to go ahead and go back to the computer. And uh, here what you're going to do is you need to have an SSH client. Um, so go into Cyberduck right here. Uh, go ahead and put in your IP address. Oops, my bad. And you can find this by going into your uh, preferences or settings in your iPod and going into uh, the Wi-Fi and hitting the blue button. And go ahead and find your IP address. All right, so um, now that we're in SSH, um, we'll go ahead and connect. And I'm using Cyberduck. Uh, okay, so allow the connection. Log in. My bad, I think I have to try this again. Okay. Uh, username root, password alpine. Alright, so now I'm in. Uh, so what you're going to do is go ahead into the drop down menu. Go into private var. Alright, private var. And once you're in private var, you want to go into stash, which is right here. Double click stash. And in here, you get a few things here. Wallpapers. This is wallpapers that your iPhone comes with. All the custom wallpapers. You can change some of those if you want. Um, and the themes is in here. My bad. Check one. You, you probably won't have two. I don't know why I have two. But check the themes folder and that's most likely your themes. So obviously I only have one theme down because I wanted to borrow an icon from this theme. But I didn't want to have the full theme because I didn't like all the icons. So what I did is I, I installed the theme. Install a theme from Cydia Simple with Winterboard. Go into, this, uh, into the theme and go into Bundles. Once you see in Bundles, you see all the apps that it supports, right? These are all the apps that it has themes for. So go ahead and search for Cydia. City is right here. Double click on this and look under icon. And under icon is where you see your images. So I'm just going to preview this. So I changed it. You usually would get the city icon, but um, I changed it all so it looks quite different. Okay, so that's how to change it. But I'm going to sh actually show you how to do it. Uh, say you're getting a new theme. So you can get themes on the internet. Go to Mod My Eye. They have tons of themes um, that you'll see on the iPhone. So right here, Illumine uh, for iPhone 4. So we're going to go ahead and hit download for this. All right, guys. So I didn't download the uh, Illumine theme, but I downloaded another theme called J Down uh, J uh, iPhone. Um, so once you download it, put it on your desktop, whatever the file, and go into it, and you see all the apps that it holds. Um, there's not many apps, but these are some stock apps that you can uh, replace. So uh, I went ahead and took out the uh, Voice Memos app, which is somewhere here. Voice Memos right here. I went ahead. This was usually in here. I just dragged it to my desktop. And there it is on my desktop. Now what you want to do is go back into Cyberduck. And um, go into Private Var Stash right here. Uh, go into your Applications. And these are your stock applications, the one that came with your device and all that. So you notice that you don't get your all your games and stuff. That's fine. All right, so here what you're going to do is uh, find the app you're going to replace, which is Voice Memos, which is right here. Now go down here and go down where you see icons. So search I. And then this is where your icons, this is the like place where all your icons are held, like the look of it. Some reason it's not showing it on my computer. I don't know why it was last night when I was testing this, but whatever. So here's the icon. You want to replace it with the one that says icon PNG. So go ahead and rename this on the desktop. So just icon. And then we're going to go ahead and drag this in here. 
All right, we'll allow it. And we're gonna hit overwrite. That's what you want, overwrite and continue. Because you want it to replace this. So now, if you uh, preview it, you see the icon, the mic, basically. And uh, same with this, you're gonna go ahead and rename that. So put the at symbol 2x. All right, so both PNGs are gonna replace that. Make sure you're not dragging into an app. So overwrite again. And that's it. That's all you're putting, pretty much putting in the icon and the icon at 2x. All right. So now once you've done that, you can go ahead and disconnect the device. And we'll go ahead and go into the iPhone. Slide to unlock. Obviously nothing happened right now. Um, I'm just going to quickly respring. You don't have to do this, by the way. Just I'm just respringing. I'm not adding any theme, as you see. But uh, go ahead and go into this. As it uh, resprings, and we'll actually see if the apps uh, changed. All right, so it's done respringing. We'll go here and we'll see into the voice memos app, and there it is. And I'm not selecting any theme, and voice memos is there right there, and it's with the customized icon. And I'll show you that I'm not wearing any out, wearing out any theme. Let's go select themes. Nothing is ticked. Alright guys, that's about it. Hope this video helped. This is how to customize any icon that you don't want while wearing out a theme. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.